Welcome friends. Here is another type of examples on expressing a complex number in a standard form a plus iota v and we shall learn it by these two parts of the example. So let us start with part 1. In part 1 we are given an expression 1 over 3 plus 3 iota and this whole value raised to the third power and we can expand it by using the formula this is the formula whole cube of a plus b is equals to a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube we can expand it by like this so here a is 1 over 3 so we shall expand 1 over 3 raised to the third power plus 3a square this means 1 over 3 squared into b this means 3 iota and here 3 a b square 1 over 3 into 1 over 3 into 3 iota squared plus 3 iota raised to the third power and if we solve this value then it will be 1 over 27 and if we solve it then this value becomes plus iota and if we solve it then this value becomes minus 9 because 3 will be cancelled by 3 and if we get a square of 3 then we get 9 and iota square is equals to minus 1 if we multiply 9 with minus 1 we get minus 9 and same as here we get negative 27 iota because iota cube is equals to negative iota and now we shall add these two values by taking LCM and if we take LCM 1 and 27 then we get 27 and here is 1 minus 243 minus 26 iota because if we subtract plus 1 iota from this negative 27 iota we get negative 26 iota then this value becomes negative 242 over 27 minus 26 iota so this is the standard form of the part 1 and now we shall move to the second part in part second we are given an expression negative root 3 plus square root of negative 2 negative root 3 plus square root of negative 2 into 3 square root of negative 2 minus iota so this is our expression and we have to solve it we know that we can write square root of negative 2 like this square root of 2 times square root of negative 1 and we know that this value is equals to iota so it will be square root 2 iota then this value is negative root 3 plus root 2 iota and here is 3 root 2 iota and here is iota and now we shall multiply these values and if we multiply negative root 3 with this value then we get negative 3 root 6 iota and if we multiply these two values we get positive 3 root root 3 iota and if we multiply these two values then we get negative 6 and if we multiply these two values then we get positive root 2 so if we solve it then we get minus 6 plus root 2 in one bracket plus negative 3 root 6 plus root 3 iota so this is the standard form of the second part. Thank you.